The pressure was well and truly on bottom club Newcastle ahead of their second visit to St James's Park with Sale Sharks, the visitors, in a match dub, the big one. After results elsewhere, the pressure had been ramped up on the Falcons to get a result, but they started on the back foot against the playoff chasing Sharks. Steve Diamond's men hit the front early on with a silky move. A wonderful offload from Springbok scrum half Fafta Clerk fed Tom Curry, and the England back row sent Denny Solomona away to add the finishing touch. 7 0 after just five minutes. De Klerk added a penalty to stretch sales lead to 10 points. Double jeopardy as well for the Falcons, with Logger v Mulipola given a yellow card in the process. But Newcastle, who had won back to back league matches, began to get a foothold. Two Sonatane Takalua penalties cut the deficit to just four points. 10 6 to the visitors at the break. The game was a feisty affair with plenty at stake for both sides in front of 27,000 fans, but it was Sale who appeared to lose their heads. Ben Curry was handed a yellow card and Dean Richards' side made the visitors pay. Fly half Toby Flood landed the Falcons' first try of the match to put them ahead for the first time just moments after Curry's sin bin. And Takalua added the conversion and another penalty to give the Falcons a 16 10 lead after 46 minutes. The momentum was now with the bottom club, and despite Curry's reintroduction, Sale continued to flounder. Two further Takalua penalties gave the Falcons clear daylight at 22 10 with 18 minutes remaining. But the Sharks found some late inspiration to provide a tense finish when Scotland international Byron McGuigan crossed with four minutes to go. Falcons fans now getting a little twitchy. But Newcastle held on for a third straight league win to move within three points of 11th place Worcester. 22 17 the final score at St James's. Sale's only consolation, a losing bonus point.